Yeah, good day guys and um this is a brand new tutorial video and this video is special because it is my third video on the database series all right and um the database i'm using today was the name the name is open drive eh, the, the name is one drive sorry my previous video was on the open drive that's why the name still sticks to my tongue okay so this is one drive and <clears throat> um as for me i prefer using open drive to host <clears throat> small files then i prefer using the one drive to host big files all right but for the sake of this tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to use the one drive and i'll just be using like a 2mb file you can actually be hosting um, your files are uh, your mixtape files up to 100 up to 150 and all that okay so oh um, let's kick start let's kick start so this is my open drive account you click here just click here you see my name Andrew Gogo Ngo Twenga. You see my files in my recent. So now I'm, I'm on the files, right? I'm on the files. So I will click it to go back, right? So when you want to upload, you see up here, you see a new, um, then you see your upload. When you click on the upload option, click on files. When you click on files, click on files again i don't know what your phone might display but my phone display files some phones display download and all that so uh it's not what you see on my phone that you must see on your phone it, it might get different though you understand so you click on this that's a song right now you see uploading item click on the uploading item and by the side you can actually see the progress of this item that is uploading okay now you can see that my song is neatly neatly uh, my song is neatly edited which which tool did i use i use the automatic tag tool okay and um if you want me to drop a, a tutorial on the automatic tag um, stuff, you can you you can you can you can get me up with a comment, right? Get me up with the comment. So this is the newest stuff I uploaded. Young blinks in love. Then guys, I want to tell you something. If you are watching this tutorial and you actually came here to see how to upload other files let me say uh, a video let me say any other thing for download don't be discouraged i'm just using a song to demonstrate okay i'm just using a song to demonstrate if you want to upload any other file you upload it using the same method okay guys so you go like this mm. Um, I have clicked on the song, right? I've clicked on the song. Now you see the cover art, <coughs> and this song can actually preview. Play, you can see the song is playing. This is for you to know that you edited this. The, 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 this is for you to know that you edited the, the right file. Yeah. So I'll pause this. All right. When I pause this, what are the options you can see here? I know you can see many things and you are probably confused. I don't want you to be confused. I'll actually um, figure out everything here. From the left top, the first uh, icon is share icon. The second icon is a copy link. All right. The third one is just like three dots. That's for you to see more options and I want to explain something when you copy the link when you copy the link just okay when you copy the link okay I think uh, yeah when you click on copy the link it should, it should do like this 
then when you copy it when you share this link to somebody when you share this link to somebody when the person clicks this it will direct them to OneDrive platform. Now, as a blogger, what is your essence of uploading files? What is your essence of hosting files? Your essence for hosting files is actually for you to get the direct download link. Okay? Now, when you share this copied link, it doesn't get you that essence because somebody... You want to get the direct download link, place it on your website, then people can click and download directly okay so that they don't even know the database you are using so that the, the database you use is anonymous and it's your selling point okay so i think as a blogger you don't really need that um, that link that we direct to the onedrive now how do you generate direct download link on onedrive that's the, the that's the real deal of this uh, this tutorial that's the real deal of this tutorial now for you to generate the direct download link for OneDrive on, on 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 for OneDrive you actually click down more option when you click the more option click on embed when you click on embed it will load up it hasn't uh, yeah, yeah it has load up now you click on generate embed when you click on generate embed it will be loading up, loading up, loading up. I hope guys, you guys are following up. Click the options. Uh, click on embed. Generates the direct down uh, the, the embed link. You understand me? So, select all. Then copy the embed link. Now, guys, you are done from this side of the world. I'm, tr I'm trying to show you the trick on how to generate a direct download M uh, link from OneDrive. Trust me, it's not straightforward, but I think you have followed up to the last step. I've copied the embed link. So when I've copied the embed link, I'll go out from here. I'll go to my notepad. I'll go to my notepad. When I go to my notepad, oh, my notepad is not slanting, so I'll just have to use it like this. When I go to my notepad, I'll paste this embed link. Now, within the embed link, you can see a link, an authority link. When you click on it, it will select only itself, okay? Now, cut. When you cut it, you can delete this one can delete this one now paste the link you have cut okay now observe this link you can see https one one drive dot live dot com slash embed now this link was for the embed so that you can embed this this post on your website so that people can actually get to stream it on your website without coming to OneDrive. Now, if you want people to download this way, uh, this post without coming to OneDrive, it is the same method. It is just uh, a simple programming stuff. Okay. This was for embed. If you want it for download, how will you do, guys? I want you guys pause this video and think before you continue watching. Test your IQ. If this was for embed, if you want it for download, how will you do? Now look here, the, it's, it is written embedded, okay? Um, if you want it for download, just clean this embed, then type download in small letter, all right? When you type it, select the whole thing. When you select the whole thing, go back to your Google Chrome, just go back to your Google Chrome, paste the new stuff you did you can make uh, you can just ensure that it is the stuff you did now you can see the download so it was just the stuff you did okay now when you search this it will automatically start downloading it will automatically start downloading okay
now guys I, I yeah i know i know i did some few tricks in this did some batman shit right around the town on this but tutorials are not meant to be watched once okay you can watch this two three times and if you don't understand you get some of your guys you watch together and i'm, I'm sure there will be a witty person among them just like me that will be able to figure out the exact thing you need so um uh, i'll go okay I, then if you are using this for people to download you actually go to your website place the direct download link you you guys already know how to do that you feel me so just just a recap you go to your open your OneDrive. If you haven't opened an account, you can open an account to OneDrive. OneDrive is owned by Microsoft. Okay. Um, next, you upload your file. Just make sure your file has the right extension. If your file is is music, it has an MP3 extension. If the video has a .mp4 extension, if the PDF has a PDF extension, if it's a document it has a doc, doc, docx extension, you get. When you upload it, you click the file. All right. When you click the file, you see options, share option, copy link options, and um, the more option you click on more option you click on embedded copy the embed link paste it in your notes copy that unique link that is in your embedded now on that unique link you observe that the, the, after the one drive does come slash live uh, blah 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 the the the, the right embedded clean that embedded and type download so because that was for em embedding the root embedded now for download do, do right download okay guys so as for these of um although i didn't create a new account in this tutorial but i just want you guys to trust me that creating an account with onedrive is so easy so so easy you can just search onedrive now definitely you see some adverts okay you won't really see adverts now onedrive is for microsoft now you see that the, the the first side is the microsoft the second one is the onedrive.live okay so any link you go through is leading you to the same thing i don't know if you understand if you go through microsoft you actually get to use your email that is connected to microsoft if you go through the OneDrive, it actually is just leading to the same thing. You understand? So anywhere you follow is actually leading to the same thing. And guys, with this, I would like to say if you have watched this video and you love how I explain things, please just like this video. If you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe to my channel so that you keep up with mine my uh, my updates that will be coming up many 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 more things we have to discuss some things you don't even need them but you, yeah no knowledge is a waste okay so just subscribe to my channel and i love you guys see you guys on thursday i'll be making up a video for i think i'll make a video for google drive Make a video for Google Drive, or you understand me? So that's it, guys. So love you guys. See you guys next weekend. Yeah, we spent 14 minutes exactly.